but it hasn't been a long time since we've been able to talk to Jeremiah Robinson Earl, one of the rookies for the Thunder this season. We were able to talk to you during Summer League, your first opportunity with this team wearing a Thunder jersey for the first time. How was that experience for you? this off season. Yeah, I mean, it was a great experience being able to go out there and compete in summer league. You know, it's something that you look forward to as a rookie every single year. I mean, I have just I just came a long way. You know, the work has just begun. All the hard work in the past has, has paid off, and now the work has really just begun. It's been a lot of fun to compete at a high level. You really popped at summer league. I mean, not just literally, but, you know, figuratively mm. too. You know, the pick and pop game, you were, you were knocking down <laughs> shots from three. You were physical on the glass. Mm. You, you played defense at a high level. Uh, what was that like being able to kind of introduce yourself to the fan base in that way? I mean, it was great. I mean, I took a lot of pride in, in defensive rebounding. It's something that Villanova we did as well. Took a lot of pride in that, you know. And I just love going out there competing. If that means I rebound and play a lot of defense or if it means I'm hitting shots, just whatever I can do to help the team win games. Rebounding, playing defense. I feel like you've heard that a time or two from your college coach. Oh, absolutely. Jay Wright. But you join a, a long list of guys now in the NBA from Villanova, mm -hmm. and there seems to be a certain DNA to Jay Wright and Villanova play, players. Can you expand on that and what is it and why it seems to translate in the NBA? I think Coach Wright and the coaching staff and the people up there at Villanova do a great job just teaching professionalism on and off the court and just, just the development of the players, even if it might not be a one and done, um, just going to the NBA after one year, but being able to buy into the program for if it's two, three, four years, and then knowing just trusting that process and know that will help you in your career in, in, in the long run. So I think they do a great job just helping develop those players. Have you talked to, to some of your, your old teammates that are in the league and, and asked them kind of what to expect? and? What's it going to be like, and have they given you any advice? Absolutely, just getting as much knowledge as I can from yeah. them, just enjoying the process and just you know, just taking it one day at a time and just being able to, what, what can you do every single day to become the best player you can possibly be, possibly be for yourself and for the team. So just making sure you're working hard every single day. You, you talk about the influence that Jay Wright had on you as a basketball player. I, I'm curious about the influence that your parents played in this as well. Obviously, you talk so much about your mom, and your dad was a star basketball player as well. How much of a factor did they play in you being the player that you are right now? I mean, they're everything. I mean, my mom's really, she's done, she's held it down for 20 years, being able to help me be in this position today. So I think I take a lot, I love them to death for that. And I, I also give them a lot of props for not really forcing me to play basketball when I was young. So I feel like right now when I'm playing the game and practicing and working on my craft, I genuinely love it every single day. So I love them to death and I'm very grateful for everything they've done for me. Now, did they have an influence in you choosing the number 50? I, so my dad was number 50 in high school. Okay. And so, I mean, I always wore like 10 when I was in like elementary, middle school. And then I was like 24 because Kobe's my favorite player. And then those numbers weren't available. So I, I chose 50 just to honor my dad and, and, and keep that legacy going. Jeremiah, family-oriented. Thunder fans are going to love you. This city is all about sort of that connectedness and, mm -hmm. and that culture and those values. And I know you had the opportunity to go down and learn more about Oklahoma City mm -hmm. at the National Memorial mm -hmm. downtown with some of your, your rookie teammates. Will you just tell me about kind of what you, you got out of that experience and what you learned there? I mean, it was a great experience for ex besides the tragedy of what happened, but it was a – it was, it was great to just go there and just kind of learn from the th just kind of the history of the city and just what the what the trials and tribulations they went through from that because I feel like since OKC is a very tight knit area and everybody has kind of been affected and took from that in in some way in some sort of way so I feel like that kind of helps bring everybody together through the thunder being able to have a big community a big family environment so we can all just stick together through all hard times good times. That's one of those moments uh, that you and your, your rookie teammates could kind of bond over. You had Summer League as well. Tell us and, and the Thunder fans a little bit about some of the, the other three guys, Josh Giddy, Trey Mann, Aaron Wiggins. Tell us something that, that maybe they don't know yet about these guys. I mean, it's, it's a great group. I mean, they might we might come off as quiet or anything, but when you get around us and we get warmed up, it's great. I think one thing that's crazy about Josh is, like, He's 18 years old. Like, I'm 20. He's 18. I'm, like, I'm that much older than him. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, I'm still young, but I'm, like, looking at him. Like, I'm way older than him. So, I mean, it's a great group. I and mean, we all have very like-minded. We just all love to work and just get better every single day. Tell us a little bit about that, that big dinner that you had on draft night mm -hmm. at the Steakhouse oh, in yeah. Chicago. How big was that thing? <laughs> I mean, it was like the whole back room. Yeah, we had like, it sounded pretty big. We had like 30 to 40 people there. And it was, I mean, it was a great time just being able to be around family and those that have influenced me and helped me in, in some sort of way to be in this position today. But, I mean, 
it was it was a lot of fun. That night was just a night to remember, and just just having all those people around me that have bettered me in some sort of way. Hey, Jeremiah is from Kansas City. He's from the Midwest. He knows he all knows. about about steak, the being able to being able to put it away when you need to. Uh, <laughs> what's this like, just being just up the road from uh, from where you grew up? It's great. I mean, I never would have thought the team I would have been drafted to is the closest team from where I'm from. So I think. I think everything happens for a reason, and God has everything under control, and I'm just so grateful for this opportunity. Oh, speaking of which, what has been this past two months for you in terms of being drafted, going to Summer League, mm -hmm. and now yeah. Media Day? Training camp starts tomorrow. Have you been able to catch your breath? Has it been a whirlwind? What has it been like for you? It's definitely has been crazy, especially the, the, the pre-draft workouts going and getting drafted. The next day I fly out to here. We're already kind of in Summer League training camp, and then Summer League, so I definitely took my like little rest, my week rest before we start getting back into workouts. But it's moving really fast. But I mean, this is something I wanted to do my entire life. So I'm excited and just keep taking it one day at a time and just enjoying the process. Jeremy, a lot of wings on this team, a lot of guards and versatile forwards mm -hmm. and big men like yourself. What are you starting to gleam? You have such a great pedigree mm -hmm. in your basketball career so far. What are you, what are you kind of starting to pick up about the, the identity of this team and what they want to be like on the floor this year? I think we're going to, even though we're a young team, we, we, we go out there and compete every single night, no matter what team we're playing against. We just want to be the best team we possibly can be, and we live with those results, you know. Just keep controlling our attitude and our approach to the game every single day. Well, Jeremiah, I, I know we're all looking forward to seeing you out mm -hmm. there on that court, the number 50, mm -hmm. uh, representing your, your dad very out there proud, on the floor. Bro. So uh, good luck. Enjoy the rest of media day, and thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremiah. Yep. Thank you.